Welcome back, everyone, to another edition of Combat Corner, where we talk everything, mixed martial arts, boxing, bare knuckle, you name it, combat sports. This is where it's at. I'm your host, Rudy Rodriguez Shoma, and I have a topic to discuss today. You see it scrolling across your screen. It is the Jake Paul, Mike Tyson Circus. The circus is actually coming to town this Friday night on Netflix, I never thought this fight would actually happen. And I talked about this fight months ago when it was supposed to initially happen. And I gave my opinion on it that I think I thought Jake Paul would whip Mike Tyson's ass. But before we jump in, thank you for everyone for your continued support of our channel. Be sure to like, subscribe, and follow. Ring that bell and become a member of our podcast. My opinion hasn't changed. Jake Paul is going to whip Mike Tyson's ass on Friday. And you guys who, I mean, I have, I have never seen so many delusional human beings in my life on these different boards and the different comments I've read where people are talking about in their mind, somehow they think Mike Tyson's going to win this fight. <clears throat> Let's look at Jake Paul. Jake Paul is how 26. Something like that. Jake Paul. Jake Paul is 27 years old. He's bigger than Mike Tyson. He's stronger than Mike Tyson. He's 31 years younger than Mike Tyson. This is not the Mike Tyson you grew up to in the 1980s, people. Early 90s. This is not that guy. But you keep trying to convince yourself that he is they splice up some video they put it in fast forward they make it look like he's blistering fast that he's obliterating bags mitts you name it the reality is mike tyson is a 58 year old man that's what it is he's 58 did you see what happened to Evander Holyfield when he decided he wanted to lace him up again and put the gloves on? And he decided to fight Vitor Belfort, who was already in his mid-40s. What happened to Holyfield, who was 58 at the time? He got his head taken off by a guy who was an old MMA fighter. What has Jake Paul been doing to these old, older MMA fighters? The ones that initially people say, oh, Tyron Woolley's going to whoop his ass, loses. Tyron Woolley's going to whoop his ass, gets knocked out cold. Ben Askren's going to whoop his ass, gets knocked out. Anderson Silva's going to whoop his ass, gets dropped and loses. Nate Diaz is going to whoop his ass, loses. What do you want? Mike Perry's going to whoop his ass, gets dropped multiple times, loses. I, I, I mean, folks, 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 I don't know what y'all thinking. I don't know what's going through y'all minds. But Mike Tyson is going to get starched. He's going to get starched. He will be competitive for about 60 seconds because that's about the length of his gas tank. And if you think that he has some eight or ten, I don't know how many rounds this thing is going to be, eight or ten round gas tank, you're crazy. You are absolutely off out of your ever-loving minds. Jake Paul is big. He's strong. He trains all the time, and he doesn't have to. He does this because he loves it. Every single fighter that you've had come out to fight this dude, first it was, they're going to whoop his ass. Then it was, oh, the fight was rigged because they lost. No one gets knocked out cold like, <laughs> you know, like Tyron Woodley did. And, and, you know, for to get, you know, there's so many ways you can lose on purpose, and that's not one that you would choose. Anderson Silva, you think he, all of a sudden his, he's no longer living by a code, and now he's going to, you know, lose on purpose after the man's already beaten Julio Cesar Chavez Jr.? Give me a break, folks. Give me a break. 
Jake Paul is going to win this fight. Now, I don't know if he knocks him out. I think he will stop him. I think he will knock him out. I think he will stop Mike Tyson inside of four rounds. Inside of four rounds, I think he finishes Mike Tyson. Could I be wrong? Sure. Do I think he's going to win the fight? Absolutely. And it won't be close. You guys keep, and you know what? And if I am wrong, I'll get on here and say I was wrong. And then y'all will say, oh, well, the fight wasn't rigged. But what about the fights before? You'll say they were still rigged, right? Because he lost. I, I, I know. I mean, it's what it is with Jake Paul. You don't like him, so you want to dismiss what he's done. You want to dismiss the fact that he actually does hit hard. You want to dismiss the fact that, yeah, he did beat Mike Perry's ass. You want to dismiss the fact that he beat Tyron Woodley. You want to dismiss the fact that he beat Anderson Silva, Nate Diaz. All these guys, y'all, people were saying were, it, it would beat him. And then he beat two boxers who, yeah, they may be jobbers. Remember, Jake Paul has like 10 total fights. He has I'm sorry, 11 fights. He's 10 and 1. Who, who is he supposed to fight? Canelo? Just be, Are you just mad because he's making hella bank to do this while typical up-and-coming new boxers don't get paid shit? They also don't have the backing that he has. They don't have his clout. They don't have his name recognition. He, he chose to do this. You're ne- you would never say this about a 10 and one fighter in, in any other world that he should be fighting championship level fighters who are in their in their 20s. You wouldn't be paying for this if he was fighting Joe Schmo. You're gonna watch this on Saturday, on Friday, because he's fighting Mike Tyson. And you hope to see Mike Tyson beat him up. But folks, it's not gonna happen. It's not going to happen. Jake Paul is going to starch this man. I hope he doesn't hurt him. I think it's sad and sick that the, that Texas, the state of Texas, would sanction this. So I believe it's still in, it's at the it's in Arlington, it's in Jerry World. I, I it, it, this is this is something that I was hoping we would never see, but it looks like we are going to see it, and it's going to happen on Friday. It's going to happen Friday night. And you're going to sit here at the end and you're going to say, oh, Mike Tyson lost. It was rigged. That's what's going to happen. I already know. what's. I can predict it. You want him to fight a world champion boxer in his prime. That's not going to happen. He has 11 fights. Talk to me when he's got 20 fights under his belt. That's when you'll see him. But if he's 19 and one, that's when you will see him fight legitimate contenders, legitimate contenders championship level fighters you don't this is not mma where you get title shots when you're seven and oh ten and oh eleven and oh you don't get title shots in the, in boxing at that level your the typical boxers first 20 fights are tomato cans they're walkovers they're they're, they're designed to build your record up your problem as people who is jake paul it's because it's jake paul Anybody else? No problem. It's Jake Paul, so you have a problem. It could be Logan Paul, and you wouldn't have a problem. But because it's Jake Paul, you have a big problem. And by the way, Jake Paul would beat Logan Paul's ass too. But anyhow, let me know your thoughts on this fight. Are you gonna watch it? I think you. Should, I mean, I'm gonna. It's it's a fight we don't want to see, but we're gonna watch it. So let me know your thoughts on this fight. Are you gonna watch it? Leave a comment. Be sure to like, subscribe, follow, ring that bell. Appreciate y'all. Keep on coming back for more. Combat Corner.